Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. Welcome to our mini lesson on area of a square, volume of a cube. We are going to talk about, as you might have guessed, the area of a square, volume of a cube, and then we're going to do some practice solving for those two different things. First, let's talk about area of a square. The area is basically the surface space of a two-dimensional um, shape, a two-dimensional figure of some kind. So if this square, you can see, has a side length of three centimeters. One characteristic of a square is that all side lengths are the same. And also, another characteristic is that they have 90 degree angles. So this area of a square is measured in how many squares will fill up this square. It's kind of an interesting thing. So you see I've just created some squares there to cover up the, um, the square. And you'll notice that there are nine squares that can fit perfectly to cover up this three by three square. Some of you might have noticed something about those numbers, three and nine. If you did, maybe you noticed that to calculate the area of a square, you multiply the sides. So with this square, it's 4 centimeters by 4 centimeters. If I multiply the sides, I can write that as the area is the side to the power of 2. Now, the side being raised to the power of 2 is often called the side squared, right? When we raise something to the power of 2, it's a square, and that's why. All right, let's go ahead and calculate. The area of this is 4 to the power of 2, or in other words, 4 times itself, which gives us 16 square centimeters. Look, there are 16 squares that would cover over this square. That's what area of a square means. It means how many little squares that are one unit by one unit would it take to cover this 4 by 4 square? Now it's your turn. I want you to calculate the area of this square. 5 centimeters by 5 centimeters. I want you to multiply side times side to be able to calculate this. All right, here's how I would solve it. The area of the square is the side squared. 5 squared, which is 5 times 5, and that gives me 25 square centimeters. I could draw them in there. Ooh, they're a little off. Um, but I could draw them in there. And you would see that there are 25 squares that would cover over this square. And that is it. That's it for calculating the area of a square, just the side squared. Now we move on to a cube. A cube is a three-dimensional figure where all of the faces are squares. In other words, instead of having a length with height like we would normally measure, um, you would have side, side, side. And all of those lengths, all of those measurements are exactly the same. So the way that we calculate volume is that we use these cubes to fit inside of the larger cube. So similar to how we used squares to fill in squares, we're going to use cubes to fill in cubes because we measure volume in cubes. So let's go ahead and take a look. How many cubes can fit inside this cube? Well, we would basically fill them in in this way. So you can see if this cube was each side was two, then you would fit, as you saw there, four on the bottom, four on the top, you would fit eight cubes inside of a two by two cube. So we would say that this is eight cubic units, or eight cubes fit inside there. The way that we calculate this is to multiply side times side times side. We won't label all three sides usually, um, length with height, because they're all the same. But I will, for this demonstration, um, just put 2, 2, and 2, um, just so that you can see three side lengths. But the way that we calculate the volume is that we take the side measurement of the side and we raise it to the power of 3. That is called cubing it. All right, so it's the side cubed. So let's go ahead and do that. 2 to the power of 3, or 2 cubed, is 2 times 2 times 2, which will give you 8 cubic meters. Just like we showed in that in that previous example where you actually saw how many cubes fit in there, 
you'll see this is the math that shows how to do that. All right, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, the volume of a cube is you take the side length and you multiply it times itself three times, or in other words, you cube it or raise it to the power of three. Now it's your turn. I want you to calculate the volume of this cube, the yellow cube you see here. Go ahead and pause the recording and calculate the volume of that cube. This is the equation for volume. Its volume is the side to the power of 3. In this case, that side measurement is 7. So it would be 7 to the power of 3. We calculate that by doing 7 times 7 times 7. And that should get you 343 cubic centimeters. In other words, that's how many cubes would fit inside of this larger cube that is 7 centimeters by 7 centimeters by 7 centimeters. Here's another one for you to go ahead and solve. Pause the recording, solve this, see how many cubic feet are inside of this cube. We have the same volume equation. Volume is the side cubed. In other words, 3 to the power of 3, which is 3 times itself, the base number times itself 3 times, 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27 cubic feet. Now, some of you might have noticed 3 feet is also equal to 1 yard. So this is actually a measurement that's often used when you are uh, calculating like uh, pouring cement or something. You'll calculate an, a certain number of cubic yards. Well, there's 27 cubic feet inside of one cubic yard. That's what this tells us. Now it's time to practice both things that we've learned. First off, we're going to practice finding the area of this square. Go ahead and try and calculate um, the area of this square. There's the equation for you. If you can solve that, area of a square is the side squared, or the side times the side, which is 2 times 2. This is 4 square inches. All right, 4 square inches. And for our practice with the volume, go ahead and calculate the volume of this cube. Volume is side cubed, which is the side times the side times the side. So the volume of this is 64 cubic light years. Light years is a very, very, very long distance. So did you learn the area of a square, how to calculate the volume of a cube, and practice? I certainly hope you did. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.